look, the tent is up. I am so excited to have my tent up. I did film it and I'm gonna show you here shortly. So this year I'm just doing it a little bit different because I already have the tent up and I'm showing you the after first. Um, it did go pretty well. I had the girl's daddy and my two daughters come out to help. Uh, we put it up a little earlier than we usually do so we have risk of snow coming down and I'm a little bit nervous about that but the tent is up. I have come out here actually this weekend, which is the weekend after, um, just to double check on the tent and make sure everything's good. And everything's good so far, but we're supposed to get snow in a couple days. So let's cross your fingers for me. Um, everything did pretty well. What we ended up doing is doing the same way we always do it. I wanted to do it different this year. And I was talking to the girl's daddy and he was like, I don't know. And I said, let's try it different. Well, it ended up adding an extra like hour hour and a half by doing it different because then we had to change it and go back to the way we did it before. So you're going to see a little bit of that. Um, I do have two other videos of putting up this tent in a lot more detail. So this one's just going to be kind of a, a, just a kind of a quick video of putting up this tent. And um, I hope to see you guys on the next video, which is going to be what I'm at right now is me staying the night in the tent. So hopefully I'll see you on that video as well. And I got a lot of camping and hiking videos coming up this summer. So subscribe if it's something that you want. Um, I do live in this tent in the summertime, but um, my job does require for me to have internet. I have no internet down here, so I do have to go to the city every now and then and, uh, and work. So. <laughs> I live up here as much as I possibly can and you'll be seeing a lot of that this summer so um, hopefully you join and subscribe if that's what you want to see come join me I think it's a lot of fun okay I will say goodbye now and I'm going to show you the clip of us putting it up and I hope you enjoy it thanks a lot I've been We are at one hour and we have part of the tent tied up and we have the beam through and we're working on the last beam just to connect it.
We're at an hour and 42 minutes and the tent is up. Now it's time for the tarp. We're at two hours and 32 minutes and we just put Thank you, Kyla. And the tent is uh, three hours, 32 or two, two hours, 32 minutes. She said three. Wait. She's wrong. Two. Okay. I meant two. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, okay, the, the tarp is over it and all we gotta do is tie the sides. This part of the video is for me, so I know the next time I put it up. I always look at these videos and try to get advice from myself of what I can do differently. Last year, I, what I wanted to change a little bit was um, how I did the post, and so you saw this year that I put the post all together first, and then I put the tent on top of it. Yeah, that didn't work out. So, we have to put the, the actual post is that what that is? The, the ridge pole. Horizontal is a beam, vertical is a post. Beam. Post. The ridge pole. So the ridge pole has to go through. Um, it has to go through the tent first. You cannot put up the. You can't attach the post the to post. the beam before you have the beam through the tent. The yes. beam has to go through the hole in the tent front and back of the tent before we can attach the vertical support post to it. I think that added probably another 30 minutes to our day today. Yeah, because we had to undo that. Yeah, we had to undo that. We were just trying to, we were just trying to make it a little faster. That didn't work. Um, now, we put up the tarp a lot faster this year. And uh, what do you do for that? We wound it up and rolled it out. Well, no, not that. I'm sorry. We put up the tarp a lot faster over this part right here, which a lot of times it takes the majority of the time. Um, so what he, what he did is like he pushed on it, and then I pulled on it, and he pushed on it, and I pulled on it, and that was a lot faster. And we split it in half. We pulled the back end over the top first and somewhat secured that partially over and then focused on the front instead of trying to do the whole thing at once. Yeah. Um, and then I think I would tie the sides of the tent first. This year I didn't. And I would tie the sides of the tent as the first step. Second step would be to put the ridge pole, um, ridge pole through the tent. Third step would be to um, put on the post. I think that would be the better steps in getting it faster, which is the original way we did it. Yeah. And, it, and, and when we're pushing the tent up, it worked better just to put work on pushing the beam up as opposed to trying to slide the post up. If yeah. we just push the beam up, the posts come to their natural position. Yeah. Yeah, so you really got to push um, that ridge pull up. Anything else? No, not right now. Yeah, if you think of something, let me know.